For more than four decades, the Foundation Fighting Blindness has driven the basic research that has both furthered the understanding of retinal diseases and proven principles behind a number of potential treatments. Now is the time to take this knowledge and promise into the clinic, where treatments can be proven safe and effective and made available to anyone with a retinal disease. But the path to the clinic isn't without pitfalls. Here, in their own words, researchers on the front lines explain the challenge of translational research. To begin, the Foundation's Dr. Steve Rose tells us how the Foundation Fighting Blindness is uniquely positioning the field for success. Translational research is, in fact, taking those basic discoveries and really learning how to apply them to these retinal degenerations. It's taking those discoveries, understanding what they really mean and how they can be brought to the individuals with these inherited retinal degenerations. It's the science behind understanding how you get it to the cells you need to get it to in the eye, and then getting it into a clinical trial so you prove that it's safe. That translation is what we call bench to bedside it's translating the bench research, whether it be in a petri dish, in an animal, or whatever, into being able to deliver it to a human being. But that's a, cha that, that's a really challenging process, and I think we forget sometimes how difficult that is. And of course, driving all of that is a huge challenge of raising enough money to support the research that's needed. Researchers who work with the Foundation Fighting Blindness understand that it's not just a funding source, but also a partner in identifying promising opportunities and driving that research forward. Acting as a venture philanthropist, the Foundation often provides young promising companies with what could be considered seed money, as well as a level of credibility, which they can then leverage for additional commercial support. The Foundation's Win Gund Translational Research Acceleration Program has proven to be quite effective in this area. We originally got a very small grant to, uh, uh, to work on a focused uh, area of one of the uh, inherited retinal diseases. When we got the Win Gund uh, Translational uh, Award, it was one and a half million dollars over three years. But that's actually not sufficient to take a product from the uh, bench from the working in, in animals to actually doing a clinical trial. However, it did function to leverage our ability to get venture capital funding. And uh, we recently, just within the last couple of weeks, closed on a $37.5 million uh, venture capital investment, um, which is uh, sufficient funding to bring us for the next three and a half years to work on two inherited retinal diseases plus uh, another disease for uh, respiratory, uh, a respiratory indication. I really like to tell the story of how the research actually started that I'm, that I'm doing right now, or that we're doing right now in the lab. And I, my collaborator and I, Craig Beeson and I, have submitted that same grant three times in a row to NIH, and it got turned down three times. And it, just about that time, um, Steve Rose from the foundation had talked to me about um, how to best screen drugs for photoreceptor cell survival. So I showed him my grant, and he liked it. And six months later, he called me back and says, we have money, would you like to submit a grant? And here we are five years later with a patent, a company started, and a really promising compound. And the foundation was um, willing to give us a chance and was proven right. To me, that's where the foundation has been really great, is that they've, identif they've sort of had the vision to say, let's fund basic research that we think is someday going to lead somewhere. We don't know exactly, we can't envision exactly how this is going to work out, but we have confidence, we have hope, and we have faith that these guys will get something useful out of this and that, and that other people can benefit from that. We believe that it's important to bring these discoveries that the foundation has funded for over 41 years through that translational research and get it commercialized so that any individual can in fact have access to that particular treatment or cure, but also then the foundation gets a return on its venture philanthropic investment in order to keep the science going because we know this is not just a one-time shot. And they've always held that, that as far as I've known, 
the, the foundation and the people that are involved with the foundation, they've always had this belief that they've had this confidence in the people that they find that their work will, will lead ahead to, to cures for blindness. And it's, it takes that long-term kind of vision. That vision has proven successful in one very notable instance, the first gene therapy clinical trials for retinal disease through which more than 40 patients who were blind, including a young boy named Corey, regained some vision. For Corey, the results were life-changing. The Foundation Fighting Blindness not only funded the clinical trial, but every stage of research leading up to it. It is this success researchers everywhere are working to replicate. That to me was groundbreaking. To be able to, I mean, first, first of all, it was the first successful clinical trial overall. And uh, it just, it was incredible to see the patients really improve significantly. And in fact, it was Gene Bennett's Philadelphia-based team which actually realized that first clinical breakthrough. We asked her if she could recall how she felt when she first witnessed Corey's results and realized some sight had been restored. I can't tell you what an amazing moment that was. In fact, it still sends goosebumps <laughs> down my body thinking about it. When I, when I saw the interview of Steve Rose with um, the young boy who underwent gene therapy and seeing him drive through New York and on the, on the, on the bus and be able to see what, what's around him and see his face afterwards smiling, that was just incredible. But since then, I've heard so many stories from all of the different individuals, and the effect is the same each time, you know, whether it's from seeing fireflies for the first time to being able to see a mother's face clearly for the first time, to be able to see a long-lost relative and see them smiling at you from across the room, to being able to sit in a classroom and read a book. These are just miraculous things, and um, I feel it's so lucky, and my teammates feel so lucky to be able to witness them. We want this to be made available to anybody who could benefit from it. And um, we're very optimistic that we, we will be able to get this through. In fact, it may be one of the first gene therapies to be approved, and we're hoping that it could lead the way to many other gene therapies for other blinding diseases. There's already 50 to 100 people in this country who have benefited from gene therapy. There are going to be hundreds of people in clinical trials. There is not just hope in the indefinite science fiction future. There's hope today because real progress is being made in real living human beings to bring treatments to the clinic. And our ability to move that forward is extremely important. And it's what drives me day and night. It's why I work the way I do. It's why the foundation works the way it does. Because we know we need to do it. And it is an exciting time. We're seeing advances in ways that weren't seen even five years ago. We're at a very special time, I think, in the history of, of medicine. Because this is not just retinal diseases we're talking about. We're talking about many. Well, it's basically all forms of inherited human disease are potentially amenable to this kind of approach. I tell the folks in my laboratory and uh, all the time and people that I train, if I can just be a part of the process uh, that one day uh, gets a, a patient who is uh, fighting a disease like retinitis pigmentosa to see better or to um, preserve the vision that they have remaining, then what more could you ask for in, in your whole career? We are making a difference such that a parent, an affected individual, a child, should never have to hear, you will go blind. All they will hear is, you have a retinal degeneration, we've got a treatment for that that will make sure you don't go blind. We just need the resources to be able to do it.